Left and then right there, Azerbaijan turned the tides of this bronze medal bow. Exposed them for four, turned them for two more. A stalemate in the final three minutes and a bronze medal for Azerbaijan in these European championships. Big names light up the board in championship at 63. Marianian, Russia's returning world champion in his first European championship appearance, looking to run the table against the Olympic bronze medalist from 2016, Stig Andre Birgue, 35-year-old out of Norway. Stig Andre Birgue, 35 years old, Olympic bronze medalist, 2016. He was a European silver medalist last year, lost in the finals. Matched up against Russia's returning world champion in Stepan Marianyan. He's won a European Games title, but has never represented the Russian Federation until this year at the European Championship. So he's looking for his first European title, his first continental top finish since 2015. What makes Marianyan so dangerous? And right out of the gate, that's going to be a trip. Okay. Be a warning for a leg attack. No points awarded. He's extremely explosive, and he, we saw that in the World Championship in the finals against Victor Chiobanu of Moldova. He's just not afraid to go out there and leave it all on the mat. He expects to put a lot of points on the board, and that, that goes for everybody in the Russian Federation's lineup. You see a lot of guys that stay passive uh, wrestling in the Greco-Roman style, but not these Russians. These Russians come out and expect to put points on the board, and that's why you saw six of them leave Budapest with gold medals in Greco-Roman. He's down a weight from 67, where he won a world championship at, filling in, jumping in at the 63 weight division. Marianian in the red for Russia. No score, minute into the first period. Birje has picked up world bronze, Olympic bronze, European silver throughout his years. He knocked off Mamadov of Azerbaijan in the semis 5-2. This is his second straight European title match. Losing to Romania last year in Mahout by a decision score. So he's been close. Can this be the year he does it? But in order to do so, he needs to knock off a world champion who is in a new weight category in 2019. And I believe I said Chiobanu, he knocked off of Moldova. It was actually Elmeret Tazmaradov of Uzbekistan. The patented uppercut from the Uzbek whenever he wins the Olympic bronze medalist. And speaking of Olympic bronze medalist, right there you see Stig Andre Berg okay. getting his nose plugged out of Norway. And I look back to those Olympic games and his run. I remember a few guys who their celebrations when they won. Uh, one of them uh, was the German who we'll see a little bit later, um, Dennis Kudela. We'll see Marianian if he can get that turn. And this is what he does so successful, goes back and forth one way to the other and he doesn't stop. So one gut turns into four points if you could do that. Continue your motion and go from one side to the other. Not sure if Berg's asking for the challenge. Freddy. Or blood time. Looks like it's still the left nostril. But back to what I was saying, when, you, when, when I look back to those 2016 Olympic Games. It was Berg's celebration along with Dennis Kudula. Kudula, I believe he was 19 years old when he claimed that gold or that bronze medal. And uh, just Berg, when he picked up that 1-1 win 
over by Ramolf of Azerbaijan. It was a celebration with his family, so good to see. Of course, when you think of Olympic medals, it, it goes deeper than just the training you've put in. It's your family. You know, they must sacrifice and dedicate a lot of their time to get you to where they are. Yeah, I remember hearing so many champions, so many wrestlers that even don't get to the podium talk about the sacrifice of so many to get them to compete Open. at this level, whether it's family, friends, coaches, the mileage, the monetary resources all coming together to make it a reality. You have to have a support system to succeed in this sport, undoubtedly. And you see it with the appreciation. It's always, the celebrations are always geared towards the family. So it's, it's, it's selfless. Yeah, they know exactly where they're sitting. You know, of all the sports, maybe the most in tune with that aspect. They know the section, they know the seat number. It's that important to them. First period goes to Russia in the battle for gold at 63. Virgie down 5 nothing to Marianian. Marianian's been up and down as far as weight categories go. If you recall, he started at 59 kilos, then made that jump to 67. Now is settled in the middle at 63 okay. kilos. At an absolutely dominant 2018. Two hand with, okay, and head up, okay, head up. Second period ready to begin. Russia in control on five nothing on the Norway wrestler in the gold medal and European title. Red action. Coming around the back in a position, and he throws him over for four, and that will be it. Complete rotation on the throw, and in his first European championship for the Russian Federation, guess what, he's one for one, and he leaves behind a bloodied Stig Andre Beardre. Wow, nine, nothing your final. Marianian is your European champion, and I'm not sure Anybody will be able to slow him down come September and the World Championships. He is the complete package. He was dangerous, got dug that underhook deep. And as soon as Stig Andre Berg tried to sneak that arm out, it was once Marianian got behind, it was all over from there. Second Russian flag bearer of the night. And how about this? Two champions, both matches ended early.